Hello fellow crafters! I'm back today with a tutorial showing you how you can now upload SVG images from your iPhone or iPad directly into Cricut Design Space. This comes because Cricut has just updated their app. You can see here on my uh, screen 15 hours ago, so that was January 25th, they have an update for Cricut Design Space where you can upload SVG images directly from your mobile device. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, you have to find an SVG image. Um, I have a lot that I have saved on my Google Drive, but I'm gonna to go to a new one in case you just happen to be looking around and come across one. So let's just find one here. This one looks cute boys rule so go down to where you download the zip file and I use an app called iZip you can see it right here it tells me open in iZip um, if you depending on which app that you use to unzip this is just what I'm using so I'm gonna go ahead and hit open in iZip and it's gonna come over to my iZip app and then it asked me if I would like to extract all of my files. Yes, I would like to, because you cannot upload a zipped file because that's a folder that contains multiple files in it. We want the actual SVG. So here is my unzipped folder. I'm gonna click on that, and you can see here I have an EPS, SVG, PNG, and DF, DXF file. I verify, everything looks great. So now, it's here in my iZip app. So I'm gonna come over to my Cricut Design Space app and I'm gonna start a new project. And you go down to the bottom where it says upload. And you'll see here's the new option is browse files. Used to it was just taking a photo or selecting a photo or looking at your already uploaded images. So I'm gonna browse my files And if you'll just hit at the top, it said locations. Here's the places that you can look. You can look on your iCloud drive, your Google drive, your Dropbox, or on your iPhone. So I'm gonna go to on my iPhone and my iZip has its own little folder here. And then I don't want the zip folder, I want the actual folder. And then here you can see there's two kind of grayed out folders and then there's a PNG and the SVG. And so I want the one on the right because that's my SVG folder or file. And just give it a minute and we're gonna name it and I'm just gonna name it Boys Rule. And then I'm gonna hit save. Then after it's saved, I'm gonna get a list of all of my uploaded images just like you do when you're on your computer. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose that one. And then I'm gonna hit insert. And there it is. Boom. And to make sure it's the SVG, you can go over here to your layers at the bottom and you can see your different layers. And then now you can do your welding or slicing or just leave it, you know, attaching so that way everything cuts out the way it's supposed to from here. So anyway, I'm super excited and uh, not because I use the app to upload SVGs, but I can, I now have that option. Um, I do create my own SVGs, but I do save them all to my Google Drive, so this will definitely give me you know, the option to go ahead and upload if for some reason I'm not on my computer. Um, but I know that there are a lot of people out there who maybe don't have a computer. Um, their iPad or iPhone is the only way that they have to work in Cricut Design Space, and now you can upload those SVGs pretty easily. So I hope that you have a great rest of your day crafting and I will see you guys later. If this video helped you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up uh, just so I know that I'm making videos that you find relevant. Um, happy crafting.